The B-2 Spirit is a low-observable, strategic long-range bomber capable of penetrating dense air defense shields, and it is capable of all-altitude attack missions up to 50,000 feet with a range of more than 6,000 nautical miles with unrefueled and over 10,000 nautical miles with one refueling giving it the ability to fly to any point in the world within hours. Its distinctive profile comes from the unique flying wing construction. The leading edges of the wings are angled at 33 degree, and the trailing edge has a double W shape. It is manufactured at the Northrop Grumman facilities in Pico Rivera. After 10 years of service, the B-2 Spirit finally achieved full operational capability in 2003. In the first three years of service, the operational B-2 achieved a sortie reliability rate of 90%. An assessment published by the United States Air Force showed that two B-2 armed with precision weaponry can do the role of 75 conventional aircraft. In 2019, B-2 marked 30 years since its first flight. The aircraft transformed into a highly advanced bomber with improved avionics technology, stealth, and armament. Stealth Coating Northrop Grumman has developed a radar absorbent coating to preserve the B-2 stealth characteristics while drastically reducing maintenance time. The new material, known as alternate high-frequency material, is sprayed on by four independently controlled robots. The B-2 Stealth Bomber is covered in a coating called Iron Ball Paint. This coating is made up of microscopic iron spheres that absorb incoming radar waves as heat. The dark paint color also makes the B-2 difficult to spot during late-night missions. The B-2 is also covered in advanced radio-absorbent paint and tape. These materials are very expensive, and the Air Force has to reapply them regularly. The B-2's coating is known as advanced high-frequency material. It's the key to keeping the bomber nearly invisible to radar. The B-2's coating is designed to absorb radio energy with optimum efficiency, keep the bomber nearly invisible to radar, and make the bomber difficult to spot during late-night missions. B-2 Cockpit The B-2 Stealth Bomber Cockpit is packed with features that make it one of the most advanced aircraft cockpits in the world. Here are some of the key features that make it so unique. First, heads-up display. The B-2 cockpit features a heads-up display that provides the pilot with all the information they need to fly the plane. The display shows everything from altitude and airspeed to navigation information and weapon system status. Second, fly-by-wire controls. The B-2 is a fly-by-wire aircraft which means that the pilot's inputs are translated into electronic signals that control the plane's movements. This allows for highly precise and responsive control of the aircraft. Third, advanced avionics. The B-2 cockpit is packed with advanced avionics that allows the pilot to monitor and control all aspects of the aircraft's flight. This includes everything from the engines to the weapon systems. Fourth, stealth technology. The B-2 is designed to be as stealthy as possible, and the cockpit plays a key role in achieving this goal. The cockpit is designed to minimize the aircraft's radar signature, and it's outfitted with special materials and coatings that absorb radar waves. Weapons The aircraft carries all its weapons internally and is fitted with two separate weapons bays in the center of the aircraft. The B-2 Stealth Bomber has the capacity to carry up to 40,000 pounds of weapons, including conventional and thermonuclear weapons, precision-guided munitions, gravity bombs, and a range of maritime weapons. It was designed to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses. The B-2's weapons include in conventional weapons, Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapon. Thermonuclear weapons, 16 B-83 nuclear bombs, air-launched cruise missiles, AGM-158A joint air-to-surface standoff missile, and improved AGM-158B joint air-to-surface standoff missile with extended range. Deep Penetrator 
to destroy deeply buried command and control bunkers. The B-2 weapons base are equipped with a rotary launcher and two bomb rack assemblies. It can carry up to 80,500 pounds. Class Global Positioning System Guided Bombs Countermeasures The B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber has several countermeasures, including a Lockheed Martin radar warning receiver, second, a Northrop Grumman defensive aids, and third, a composite material that absorbs radar waves. The B-2's stealth capabilities allow it to penetrate enemy defenses and threaten heavily defended targets. However, it's not as stealthy as you might think. Advanced radars and computer algorithms can detect it. Radar The B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber has an APQ-181 radar. This radar is a synthetic aperture radar that uses frequency hopping techniques to avoid detection. It's a multi-purpose radar with terrain following and terrain avoidance modes. The B-2's radar is part of the GPS-aided targeting system. The GPS-aided targeting system uses the radar to map out targets before deploying GPS-aided bombs. The B-2 also has an active electronically scanned array radar that operates on a new frequency. This radar replaces the B-2's legacy radar antenna and transmitter. Navigation and Communications The B-2 Navigation Suite includes a Rockwell Collins TCN-250 Tactical Air Navigation System and a VIR-130A instrument landing system. The communications equipment is supplied by Rockwell Collins, a Milstar military strategic and tactical relay satellite communications system is installed in Block 30 aircraft. The aircraft have been upgraded with Link 16 Communications Link. B-2 Engines The aircraft is powered by four General Electric F-118 GE-100 turbofan engines. Internally mounted in the body of the wings, the engines have an exhaust temperature control system to minimize thermal signature. The engines, rated at 77 kN thrust, provide a high subsonic speed and a maximum gross takeoff weight of 336,500 pounds. In flight refueling gear, is installed in the top center line of the aircraft behind the cockpit. Deliveries and bases 21 B-2 Spirit have been delivered to Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. The 1st in December 1993, a new transportable hangar system was developed, which allows the B-2 to be deployed to forward locations overseas. The hangars are 126 feet long, 250 feet wide, and 55 feet high. The first of these hangars has been erected on Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Prior to this development, B-2 had to return to Whiteman AFB after missions. For maintenance of the aircraft's stealth features, the B-2 was thus deployed for the first time. During Operation Iraqi Freedom in April 2003, in March 2005, a B-2 squadron was deployed for the first time to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam in support of the United States Air Force Pacific Command. B-2 Upgrade Program Northrop Grumman, the B-2 Prime Contractor, leads an industry team that is working on modernizing the B-2 bomber. This is done to ensure that craft remains fully mission-capable against evolving worldwide threats. A range of upgrade programs are working on improving the B-2 lethality, its ability to receive updated target information during a mission, and its ability to collect, process, and disseminate battlefield information with joint force commanders or other local first responders worldwide. In 2007, Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract to develop an EHF satellite communications capability and computer architecture upgrade for the B-2 bomber. The upgrade includes a Lockheed Martin integrated processing unit. Flight testing with the new systems was completed in 2009. Thanks for watching.